Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to the episode of Vision Flare. Today we've got Millie and, of course, the fan favorite, Quacky Frickin' Chan. We got Quacky Chan in the house right now. We are, uh, well, we're not really sure what we're gonna be doing. Right now I'm looking for track. Hey, buddy! How's it going, Quacky? Give the folks what they want. Interrupt my intro. Let's hear it. Quacky, kind of annoying. Yeah, a little bit. Any chickens? Oh yeah. Any hens in the hen house? Oh, there's three. Three, and away. then there's four, and five. Oh, and six. We have six. Okay, just making sure. Making sure we got six. Make sure the water is good. This water's still all right. This one's not bad. This pool needs, well, the water needs to be changed, but I got a heater in it right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this heater over to this bowl, because it's clean water. Give that a dangle. Just kind of moving, moving the heaters around. Not really doing much. Oh, I know what we can do. They have, uh, the goats have an igloo that they don't use for anything. It's a dog igloo. And I figured to make a really good shelter for either the turkey. The turkey loves to bull in here now. That's, and I, you know, I don't mind it because I feel like he probably... You're a little late on the intro. Quacking, quacky. Actually, I'm like halfway through the intro at this point. You're late to the party. Anyways, the turkey, the turkey's right here. Hey, Tom. How's it going, buddy? He loves to be in here. Like, he gets pissed if I kick him out and shut him out. So, he's been kind of sleeping in this, which the ducks have been sleeping under this little canopy, which is fine. Not a big deal, but I'd like to give... Oh, chill, Tom. Chill. What's going on, buddy? I'd like to give them another shelter. That way, turkey has his space, the ducks have their space, chickens have their space, and everybody's happy. Well, there is an igloo that's in the goat pen that I put in there for them to climb on. I've seen, I think, Felipe on it twice before. Really not all that much. So I think we're gonna move it in here and take some bedding, like some straw. Millie, Millie, what is she eating? Did you, just, did you just eat a chicken? Come here. Dude, not cool, man. Quit eating. Quit eating feathers. Anyways, we're gonna throw some... Hey, uh, what did I just say? We are gonna go get that igloo and throw some bedding in it. That way, if the chickens want to go in there, they can. Turkey, mm, he might be able to fit in there. Probably could, probably could squeeze if he wants to, but we're gonna go grab that and... Bonzo's playing with Marty. Mar my favorite one. Marty the party. How's it cool. going, little guy? All right. Well, let's go. Uh, let's go get the igloo and fill it with some fluff for the ducks or the turkey. Perfect shelter for well, pretty much anything. I mean, look, it keeps the snow out, and that thing was facing north. So we're gonna take this thing over. We don't even need the bottom, and uh, we'll throw some hay and straw. Or, actually, we've got some pine fluff or something like that. We're gonna put it in there. But how's it going, Felipe? We're taking your igloo. You pissed? I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out the best way to carry this thing. I think this works. Put it like that. That way it's close to the water. Nice. Here, I got an idea. Why, yeah. don't, you, why don't you lift it yeah, up? I got and you. And I'll make a bedding. That's what I was about to do. Yeah. Throw around. Millie, watch out. Coming in hot. Yeah, life would be good. If I was a duck, I'd live there. Come here. Yeah, let's see if Quacky likes it. Come here, ducks. You got your new home, buddy. Oh, I got you, Quack. You're all right. Hey, 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 listen. I'm here for you. You're all right, Quack. You're okay. There you go. Look! Put the little guy in there. Look! Quacky, what do you think, buddy? Spread some fluff around. What do you think? Don't eat the... F don't not eat... No, don't eat the wood chips. This is your safe house. This is your safe place, all right? This is where the turkey can't get you. Well, he probably could get you, but try. hopefully he doesn't. They finally have a safe home. And every, I don't know, week or two, come check on it. There's a bunch of poop in there. You clean it out and throw some new new bedding in there, but you guys are gonna be nice and comfy and cozy. All right, well, we need to uh, need to refill the chicken coop too with new bedding, because right now what we're doing is we're doing a, like a, I think they call it a stacking compost, composting. Basically, you don't take the poop out in the winter. You just throw fluff on top of it. And it makes a really deep bedding and the poop actually creates heat. So we're not, we haven't been cleaning out the poop. So right now there's probably a bunch of poop in there. We need to throw some new fluff on it. Knock, knock. You guys, oh. <laughs> Can you, can you move for a second? Yeah, there's a lot of poop in there. Excuse me, chickens. Excuse me. New fluff, coming in hot. You're all right. Calm down. Just getting some fluffage is all. Oh God. Oh God, did you see? You totally missed it. So, well, there was one chicken. That was, I think that was, uh, was that Lindsay Lohan? Yeah. And then McNugget was on top of her and he piggyback rode down the slide. It's a traffic jam. It's a traffic jam. All right. We're just throwing some fresh pine shavings on top of all the poop. That way they can stay warm, not get diseases and such. Look at it, you're brand new. Now they got a fresh, clean place to go poop. All right, that's done, dude. That's one thing I like about this. They didn't even take half a bag and we just took care of two ducks. Look, and now they're getting drinks and they're gonna go back to their house. All the animals are taken care of here, even Millie. Wow. 
What a guy. I was intense. But now that the farm animals are taken care of, we came down here because I have all the traps inside the shed. We need to go set some out. We're going to try to do something that Bonzo loves. Bonzo's favorite meal ever. I don't know where you're going with this. Hands down your favorite meal. Possum soup, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, big big possum soup guy. Yeah. We have not done a possum catch clean cook this year. We did one last year. We did soup. We did soup. That's about all I say about it. It wasn't that great, but I feel like we're better at cooking. I feel like we've, I feel yeah. like, like in the last year, like me and Gordon Ramsay, like Gordon, me, like same level. We're pretty much right. We're almost there. So I feel like if I took on a, a possum now, so what we're going to do is we're going to go grab some traps. Uh, what do we got for? For food, we have we have peanuts, nuts, these nuts, yeah, and we got fish oil, and, and fish oil, nuts and fish oil. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna set them down by the creek uh, on the other side of the fishing pond. All right, come on, beefcake, let's we'll see. Can you set it? Come on, come on, I need my stick, kid. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> can you speed that up and make it like seem to take me take me five minutes? You hair triggered it. I don't know how you even did that, honestly. <laughs> I don't know. You see how that thing's staying on there? It's supposed to be like in that Magic. groove. I don't even know if a raccoon can get his hand down that one now. Well, we're trying to get possum, so. Oh yeah, true, true. Possum could definitely get it. All right, well, one down. Uh, how's that one look? Is it good? Oh, you're just a beast. Look at that beast, dude, beast, oh my God. I've been lifting. Dude, let just me know what this. steroids you'd take, because I'd like some. Them. Wow, this guy. Okay, that's two. Three, four, five. Five would be sufficient. Like, I feel, oh, that one's already set. That's mine. And we got peanuts. You're you're nut boy. Big. I'm a big nut boy. Dude, honey roasted. We're gonna we're gonna ruin the honey roasted. Put a little fish oil on it. Oh man. Here, bro. Go. Wow. We're using this too. For what? Hammering the steaks in. You uh, beefcake. It's frozen out here, man. Oh, and we got this thing. The squirrel in the 2000. Yeah. This is a squirrel trap. Yeah, I know. You didn't think it existed. Me neither. They just run under it. I don't know if... Yeah, squirrelinator. We weren't even kidding. This thing's literally called the squirrelinator. I don't think it'll work. I don't think they'll run into that. That's what I'm saying. Dude, squirrels aren't that dumb. But we're going to go... We'll put it down there. Is there any nests? Nope. Oh, I, I said we should put it back on the... We should put it on the creek bed. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's hang on to this. I think the creek bed would be better. Better place for this, so... Perfect. I got nuts, oil, hammer, and we're good. Bonds ever gone sled without a sled? Oh, 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 that's fun. Is that fun? <laughs> Do it. Dude, you get some speed, Billy. Oh, God. <laughs> Come on, John. Give Do it away. Oh, God. No. Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, that was dope. Dude, it's oh, fast. That is pretty fast. How'd that feel? I actually just slipped and I just kept going, dude. Were you not gonna do it? No, I just slipped. Yeah. So we've caught some possums here before. I just say we spread them out. Like here, a couple there, a couple back there. I'm surprised we don't see any raccoon prints and stuff around here. Oh, it's not even hard. That's what she said. All right. Oh, snap, crackle, pop. There we go. All right. These nuts going in hot. A couple freebies. A little secret sauce here. Just a little fish oil. Something that won't freeze as much as other liquids, like that clam juice we use freezes pretty bad. This oil will stay thawed out for a little bit longer. Gonna make that thing, make sure that thing's all the way down. All right, we got we got one down. You got you got yours down. Go bait yours. Last one. We might catch a raccoon too. I mean, this is exactly how you raccoon trap, but. I seem to catch a lot of possum when I'm raccoon trapping, so we're gonna try it. We put all the traps pretty darn close to each other. I mean, we've got five within 20 feet of each other. With this creek being here, seems like a lot of the animals come and use it for water source or I don't know, whatever else animals use creeks for. But we're gonna go set that squirrel trap now that these are all set and we're good to go. Millie, uh, Millie's up in the mule, just giving it a dangle. So anyways, we're gonna go set a squirrel trap. All right, you got the nuts, Bonzo? You on nut duty? Watch your step. Squirrelinator. You don't think squirrels Step like one, put the trap down. Step two, fill it with nuts. Thing all work? Trap don't work. It's definitely not gonna work. All right, well, just wasted all my honey nuts. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Shee hee hee, how's it going, folks? It is, uh, woo. It's been a grind out here. It has been, it's been a while since we've trapped anything. We haven't really shown you guys everything on camera just because it gets repetitive, but basically we have not trapped a possum. You can't get one to get to get trapped. And we ended up taking, I think we originally what, put out five, five uh, dog proofs down at the bottom of the dam here. We ended up actually taking four of those out, spreading them around my property. Um, and then we left one down there. 
and guess what? The one has got one. Finally! Bonzo ain't even here to freaking see it, but I'm definitely not going to uh, cook the possum without Bonzo. Bonzo has to be here for this. So we're we're gonna end up going down there, dispatch them. I'll give you guys a closer look here in a second. And uh, we're gonna clean them, but we're gonna try to marinate the meat. John is not a fan of possum. No. Nope. You just, you don't like it. But what if we marinated it? Uh, this is a you and Austin thing. Bro, oh, what, bro? Yeah, what, bro. no? You and Austin. No. Thing. He's gonna try, he'll try some. Anyways, I'm gonna go give you guys a look at Buddy down here. And uh, we'll get him taken care of. <laughs> what up, Junior? You playing possum? Are you dead? He's playing possum. Excuse me. Oh, he's still alive. He's just playing possum. He's got a really good at playing possum. Let me get you out. Normally we don't chow these dudes, but John wants to eat one so bad. His arm even in that bad shape. Look at that little guy. He's just playing possum. Look at him cheesing. Is that not a good IG pick? Well, we're gonna go ahead and take Buddy up top, get him dispatched, get him clean. Finally, it took us forever to get this guy. About freaking time. Now, John's excited because we're gonna try to eat this guy. We've only eaten one possum before. Look at him blowing nose bubbles. What's that strat? Oh, what the hell, man? You little nasty. Anyways, last year we catch and cooked one of these guys. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but we did soup. We're gonna try something different. Look at him curling around my finger. All right. Let's go get this guy taken care of, cleaned up. And I'll show you guys what the meat looks like and then show you where we're gonna marinate him in. And then as soon as Bonzo gets down here, we're gonna put this meat in our mouth. All right, so what this kid doesn't know is we told him this is rabbit, okay? Hook and sweat. This is perfect. I was waiting for a bit to do this. So he thinks it's rabbit. If you guys remember, last year, the first, I think it was one of the, no, it was one of the first times we had beaver. Second time, Second we, time we had beaver. Yeah, we made pulled, like a pulled pork barbecue and told him it was just pulled pork and that we had a barbecue sauce contest to tell him which one's better. And he had no idea it was beaver. So we're telling him, the thing is he's had rabbit before. So like, hopefully he's not weirded out by it. But basically I've just, I just chunked it so it could look like rabbit. Just took some bits and pieces off the back of the front leg and, and stuff like that. So he thinks this is rabbit. So the whole time the rest of the video, we're gonna refer to this as rabbit until the end. He has no idea it's possum, but we're gonna fry it. We're gonna take it out of the animals and see. But he'll have a good reaction. He's, he's, he'll be like, I'll be like, oh, this is good rabbit. I guarantee he, you, he says that. And he'll just be like, oh yeah, not bad, yeah, not bad. You know what you're eating? He's gonna be like, bro. I can't do it. He's gonna go, bro. Make him guess. Yeah, I'll make him guess. Rick, what are you eating? This is gonna be good. <laughs> Kid's a beast, bro. He's a beast. <laughs> Whoa, Quacky! Quacky! And he's back. He's back at it. Quacky! Quacky! What up, guy? Tom, how's it going? Oh, oh, oh! What's this strap? That's Hannah for she's chill. Hi, hey, bub. You guys want some food? We've got some scratch for you. You want some scratch? Here you go, chickens. There she goes. There you go. She loves it. Anyways, we're down at the animals. We figured, let's do a catch cook down here just to make sure all the animals know who's dad. You know what I mean? They, wow. are, they mess around, get thrown in the fryer. I'm just totally kidding, all right? Calm down, I had to do it. All right, well, we are gonna do it down here. We've got frying oil, power, fryer, oil, and sauce, and our delicious rabbit. I still need to trim that up. I just threw in some salt water overnight, so. We'll trim, we'll trim some of that meat up and get it prepped and ready to rock and roll. And you guys stay tuned. Quacky, Quacky, we're not catching cooking you yet, but if you don't shut the, I'm sh sh kidding, sh we're not, we're not going to cook Quacky quite yet. We'll go ahead and trim this sucker up though. Okay, we're going double dunk, we're going flour, hot sauce flour, just because they're soaking wet right now and they need a little dryness to them. So this is what we got, little nugs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, perfect. How many people got four? Almost two for each of us. Dude, Tom's a beast. Like, Tom just doesn't do anything. Dude, he's, look how cute he is, dude. No. He's chill. Tom would be good in the fryer, though. Oh my god, he'd be so good, he'd dude. He'd be so good. Chunk him off a little bit. All right, went from the flour to the hot sauce. To the flour. Okay, now we gotta go from... Did you bring a plate or anything down here? No, I brought absolutely nothing. Back into the flour. There's only seven pieces. We'll just grab it straight out the fryer, yeah. right into the mouth, you know? Here we go. Oh, she's hot. She's popping. Chill, bro. <laughs> look, it's about to get his ass kicked by Tom. Look at him, look at him. What is he doing, dude? Tom is literally about to kick his ass. 
<laughs> You're good, man. You killed it. These look good, man. I was looking good. He's flowing like Bill Owen, boys. Seven pieces. This is about to be good. Yeah, you did get soaked. Good. Yeah. Good God, God. <laughs> Holy crap. What kind of rabbit have you had before? Yeah, that's rabbit. Really? I didn't. I didn't see him cook it. I just ate it. You, oh, you didn't even see who cooked it. Kesman. Oh, really? Yeah, it was Kesman. Does yeah. that explain a lot? Yeah. You never had fried rabbit though. This is no. our first time having fried rabbit. We've. Not I've had fried. like. I guess I fried. I fried it like I quartered it and fried it one time. But I've never like taken nugs. I heard like nugs are the best. Yeah. Because then you soak it in like salt water and it gets all the game you taste out of it. But. Oh, yeah, no, they're fine. It's a big popcorn chicken. That's probably what Hopefully, it tastes like that. Dude, just square up on him. No, dude, he's actually gonna come after Tom. Me. You gotta see? See? You gotta assert your dominance. You do? And hey, you don't mess with me. Look, he's when scared of me. When fans out, that means he's like the alpha male. Yeah, when they're fanned out, it means they, they, they mean business. Then you just square up on him. So then you like fan out. Just give, just give him a quick little pop. You know what I mean? Oh my gosh. Give him one of those. <laughs> wow. Dude, this is gonna be fine. Redneck plate. Isn't this one that was on the ground? Oh. No, there's this one. I grabbed it. All right, ready? Ready? Cheers, boys. That was hot. Oh, wow. That was real hot. It was chewy. Mm hmm. Really chewy. That piece was actually not that chewy. No, mine wasn't chewy. No. Did you get a bad piece? I mean, he also took the biggest piece. No, it's piece. not that chewy. Doesn't The meat doesn't taste the greatest. Bro, that was actually good. What do you mean? I thought it was decent. Did you get a bad piece? It's pretty game. It's not bad. Mine was. Really? I feel like you gotta try another one. My, definitely mine, not, not. Mine was like seriously not here, it's bad. Definitely Take not that fire. Piece. Take that piece. Cheers, boys. Is that what Sam does, right? Yeah, that's not bad. Was your piece better this time? No, this, this piece was better, yeah. Yeah. For sure. No, mine yeah. honestly wasn't bad at all. That was pretty good. I, I think I got a bad piece for Sam. It's not bad. First one was a little more gamey than the second one. See, I it's didn't get any. gamey, but. So I'm not getting any game. The in second mine. one wasn't gamey at all. Okay. It tastes good. Yeah. It wasn't chewy. Ah, just tastes ah, like. Ah, Tastes the, the Franks, Franks a little. Makes it taste good. Yeah. But I don't know. It's it's a different flavor, but I thought it was good. John, you, you want you rabbit? You gotta have this, buddy. Buddy, I'm good. good. I'm good. John, John come on, no, try it. John, bro, no, Millie wants no, it. Do Millie, wants you it. eat this. John, it's dude. really not bad. It's actually pretty good. Okay, your piece wasn't even that chewy. Meat's not bad. Actually. No, it's not bad. That's what I'm saying, dude. It tastes pretty much like all the other meats that we have, like that aren't great, yeah, but aren't bad. But it was honestly it was better. I think it's better than raccoon. I thought it was because raccoon gave me that like fried gizzard vibe. Mm. That didn't. That was, was like, like a juicy. It was juicy. Yeah. Would you, do you think it's better than raccoon? The actual, yeah, the, the actual meat, meat itself. The I honestly meat was think it was definitely better. less chewy. Yeah, and probably a little, little better. It was like you could taste there was a flavor, but it wasn't a bad flavor. Yeah, no. What do you think? I give it like a. <laughs> It was good, honestly. I didn't. I didn't give it an a. I would give it like a six, probably. Was it better than Kesman's or not? Yeah. Uh, no, it was. It was definitely cooked better than Kesman's. Yeah. It was better for than sure. Kesman's, yeah, it really. was better. The Franks makes it taste good. Definitely. Yeah. I definitely recommend that. <laughs> so what do you think you just ate, bro? Badger? Oh god, I'm crying. <laughs> you ate it too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm the only one that ate it. Oh god, my stomach is killing me. What is it? You take a guess. Oh. Raccoon? No, oh. no. You keep guessing, buddy. Worse. Uh, what else is on the farm? Possum. <laughs> <laughs> no way! <laughs> I knew it! it so bad. Oh my god! I'm dying! Bro. I mean it did taste good. Oh. Oh god! That I was actually possum. That was possum. Yeah, that that's possum. so gross. This dude. is a possum catching coke, baby. Oh, oh god, that killed me, dude. You got, you guys were so excited to do that, weren't you? Oh yeah! I was like, yeah, come over tomorrow. The only reason you're here. Yeah, pretty much. Shut up. You just gotta be the possum eater. That's I'm actually not bad. though. It wasn't that real talk though. Like there were some deep, like bad pieces, but I feel like it was definitely better than last better year's. Better than last year's. I mean, like the piece I got. I mean, if it you didn't cook it, bad. if you cook it well enough. Yeah. I mean, I it definitely. I de my stomach definitely is. <laughs> now, 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 now he's like, it's, he's like, it's all mental, six, six out of ten. Oh, bleh. I mean, it, I, I'd still give it a six out of ten. I would say, I mean, I don't think it's any worse than raccoon, to be honest. So, like, is that well, better than the beaver or worse than the beaver? When we did it, no, no, the beaver had, I had a lot of barbecue sauce yeah, on that. Beaver. Yeah, if you had sauce, it probably wouldn't have been that bad. No, yeah, no. So, it's just, it was a little chewy. I didn't really have a game taste to it, but I mean, like, Rabbit, squirrel, like all of it kind of tastes the same to me, honestly. Like it's all yeah. very, it, when you cook it like that, it's yeah. all very, very similar. Dude, that's so gross. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I, dude, possums are so gross, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you guys catch this? <laughs> like, you know how long it took us to catch that, though? Like, what? weeks. Really? Yeah, we couldn't catch any possums. Like, literally, Bonzo shaved his, grew a beard, shaved his beard, and then grew it back in the time. It's true. L literally, look at it. Like, he shaved would it clean. Say, would you say that's, like, the worst out of all of the... We always said that, but after that, I would, I honestly would take that over a raccoon. I would. Because raccoon is just, I guess if raccoon, if you... Ew. Dear God. If raccoon, no, I guess... that actually tasted like rabbit. What did? That did? That. Yeah, no, it wasn't bad. Yeah, no, it actually tasted it's, it's, like rabbit. It's like a whiter... I, would, I couldn't tell the I thought it was rabbit. No, but like, raccoon's darker, and I think raccoon, you have bigger chunks. If, if you took raccoon, and you tenderized it and sliced it thin like that, it would be fine. Yeah. Raccoon tastes very similar, but raccoon's tougher because it's it's usually that thicker. like melted in your yeah, mouth. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Like there were yeah. some chewy pieces, but if you got some non-chewy pieces, it had a chick it had a chickeny taste. Kind yeah, of to it. just kind of like a, a wild game fried taste. It wasn't bad. But, oh, this kills me. My stomach There's, hurts because yeah, I was. How many times do you think we say it, it wasn't bad? It wasn't bad. I need it again. It yeah, I need it again. But I, I, out of all the things, I would say it, it's hungry, now yeah. up higher than raccoon to me. So raccoons are the lowest. Our, yeah, raccoons at the bottom. <clears throat> I think raccoons the lowest. It's e they're easier to clean. They're usually easier to catch for the most part. They have less meat on them though, but their meat their meat is less fatty too. It on is? that, yeah, <clears throat> the raccoon there's like fat all over it. Possum not that much. I say it beats it. I say at the bottom of my list right now is raccoon, and then possum, and then so on and so forth. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. The goats are boxing in there. My stomach is killing me from laughing so hard. We did a soak in one time with Beaver. Possum's not the worst thing we could do to you. There's not really much else out there that I could get you with that I would be like, yeah. oh, this is funny. Possum's about Dude, about good. there, about to the top of the list of the nasty stuff. But you killed it. Yeah, you, you killed the game. You're, you're I, good. Still, I still would have ate it if, if you about told it. me it was possum. I still would have it. It's, it's just funny. funnier. It's yeah. just funnier. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys ever catch a possum in a survival situation and you need to eat it, skin it, chunk off the meat, throw it in some fry. I guess if you're in a survival situation, you probably don't have a fryer baiting on how you go camping and stuff like that. But it wasn't bad. Not nearly as bad as last year's. We did soup last year. Gross. This wasn't bad. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and peace.